How to build AI agent from scratch. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your first AI agent, AI multi-agent in about five minutes. For some of you, it might take longer, but if you have experience with Python, it shouldn't take too long. If you are ready, then let's get started. In order to get started, make sure you have Python on your computer. You would need any IDE. It could be VS Code or any other. You can try Google Anti-Gravity if you want. And we will need Agent ADK. It is an open source framework from Google for build agents. In case if you don't know the difference between AI, AI agent and workflow, you can watch my other video or read my tutorial on the website. But basically, it is a software system that uses artificial intelligence to autonomously perform the tasks. With minimal human interaction okay first open terminal then create a folder you can name it the way you like in my instance i will call it my first agent after that go inside the folder then inside the folder use this command to create virtual environments after that activate the virtual environments by using this command if you won't see any error on the screen use this command pip install google adk to install adk framework Give it about three to five minutes. And if you don't see any error, it means everything is okay. Okay, and now we are ready to create a project. Use the command adk create and then name of the project. For instance, is my agent. Choose the model that you want to use. So choose other model. Simply click to. If everything is okay, you will see the folder structure. Now let's open VS Code to other ID and then go inside the agent folder. If you are not there yet, you could see inside the folder we have env file. You will store all our API keys that you should keep secretly and agent py file is the main file where we will write all our code okay now let's get api key for gemini open ai studio.google.com website log in with your google account if you don't have any yet create one and at the bottom left click get api key on a new page click create api key button it is located at the top right corner give the name for the key and select the project. If you don't have any cloud project yet, you can create one. Everything is absolutely free. And after that, click create key button. Then copy your key by simply click on this icon. And then let's save it inside environment variable. Go back to your ID. In my case, it is a VS code. Inside .nv file, create a variable. I will call it Gemini API key and replace the value with your key. After that, save the file. Now let's open agent.py file. As you could see, it's our boilerplate code. Before we do any change, we could test if our simple AI agent is working. Inside this code, we need to replace placeholder for the model, with the name of the model that we want to use. Get the correct name of the model and go back to aistudio.google.com and see the available models there. As you could see in the right side bar of models, each model has the name and at the bottom of the name, there is an internal name that we are going to use inside the code. For instance, for Gemini 3, it's called Gemini-3-pro-preview. So go back to our code and insert this name. Keep in mind, different models have its own limits. If you want to try models for free, you might have only a couple of requests. The lower the model, the more requests you have. Okay, let's try. Uh, I'm going to open the terminal inside the VS code and I'm going to use this ADK run command to run my agent. Then you might see this kind of message on the screen. Don't worry about it for now. Now we can type something to see if our simple agent is working. I usually like to ask what is the latest version of iPhone. And as you could see, I have an error. And the reason for that, because I exceed my daily limit for Gemini 3 model. So let's go back to our code and replace the model from Gemini 3 to Gemini 2.5. And let's try to run our agent again. So let's enter the same input what is the latest version of iphone and see if everything is working and as you could see my simple agent is working fine this is the result the latest version of iphone is 15. however it's not accurate because the model using eternal knowledge actually we can fix it for example we can add the tools for instance google search and after that our agent will know up-to-date information so let's quickly adjust the code and check if the tools is working fine as well inside the code simply import the tools my status is google search and then add these tools for the agent so let's try to run the same prompt and see what this time ai will return to us and as you could see with the tools 
AI agent has more accurate information. So the latest version of iPhone is 17. Seems everything is correct. Okay, once we finish the tests, we can create more agents inside this file. I'm going to create two additional agents, one for research and one for summarization. And the third one will be agent coordinator. So basically it will distribute the task among these two agents. Okay, the first one will be research agent. For the research agent, I will add tools like a Google search. So the output of this agent will be stored in the session state with this key research result. Okay, let's add another agent. The next agent will be summarizer. Basically, the first agent will do the search. The second agent will take the output and make the summary from the previous result. So as you could see, because it is AI agents, we need to provide the instructions for each of them. Keep in mind that your instructions should be very specific. Otherwise, you could get something unpredictable. You also can change the models for different agents. But in my case, I'm going to use Gemini 2.5 Pro for all of them. Okay, let me finish the instruction for summarizer agent. As you could see, I am really specific as I also provide the key with the response from first agent. You also need to keep in mind that sometimes agents cannot produce exact output as you request. So you might need to use additional tools or adjust your instructions. Let's also add some printing statements just to make sure the code executed without any issues. And let's the, finalize the, our coordinator agent. We could call it as a root agent. But we need to wrap the sub agent in agent tool, make them callable tools for the root agent. All you need simply add agent tool and then inside add the agents that we just defined in the previous steps. As you could see, I have one is a researcher and another one is summarizer. And we almost ready to test our multi-agent system. And please don't forget to import the agent tool wrapper from Google ADK tools. Okay, let's finalize the last instruction for the root agent. We will say your coordinator, then we will specify what tools it should use first, what tools it should use second, and finally compile the response. Okay, it is a time to test our multi-agent system. Simply run the command ADK run my agent inside the terminal, of course, then Type your prompt and let's see the result. I'll type AI agents and let's wait for the result. Okay, I've got the error because I exceed the free limit for this specific model. Okay, let's downgrade the model to something different. For instance, I will change everything to flash light model. It might be not uh, good as a 2.5 Pro or Gemini 3, but it will be more than enough for this example. Okay, I've changed the models. Let's run the agent again. Here we go. This is my prompt. And this time seems everything is okay. This is the response. Unfortunately, inside the terminal, I cannot see the way how agents work together to produce this output. It is a not big deal because Google ADK also has web interface. We actually can run our agent inside the browser. And in order to do that, simply use this command. Inside the terminal, type ADK, then space, web, specify the port, and hit the enter. If everything is okay, you will see this green message. Copy this URL and open it inside the browser. Then in the left top menu, select our agent. Now you have this chat interface where you can type your prompts. I have another video where I explain a little bit more about Google ADK. If you want to learn a little bit more about it, please watch that video as well. Okay, let's write our prompt. I'll say agentic systems. There's a topic for the research. Now we could see that coordinator agent called the researcher agent first, and it's called summarizer agent. And once summarizer agent is finished the work, we have the output in the interface. And here we go. This is our summary. Unfortunately, I don't see the links here. So we might need to change some instruction. But as you could see, everything seems working fine. All you need, just adjust the instructions, test it multiple times, and you will get the result that you want. And that's probably it. If you like this topic, 
please let me know in the comments below because then I can show you how to create sequential workflows because this agent system relate to instructions so it's not 100% reliable because complex LLM might decide to skip some steps or call them in the wrong order to prevent that we can actually create a different flow and if you are interested about it please let me know in the comments below and I will create another video Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye.